Hello guys, welcome to another hip creative video tutorial. This time I will show you how to do the top that you saw at the beginning. And for that we'll need a US number 9 and a US 10 and a half. Now we're not going to work this pattern in rounds. We're going to work back and forth, but my needles are uh, the only ones that I have the circular needles, but if you feel more comfortable or the ones that you have are straight needles, you can use those as well. Whatever is easier for you. And then I'm using this yarn. I like that it's very soft. And all right, so this one is I'm trying to find a weight. Okay, this is about a number four. And this one is 100 grams, it's 100% cotton. Yeah, it's a medium a number four. So, to begin, you might also need a tapestry needle. Yes, you'll definitely need a tapestry needle. And, all right, let me give you an idea of how this will look. This is the first piece. And now I'll show you how to make one like this one. So we're going to start bottom up. I will put in the description um, the amount of stitches for a small and large size. So here we go. First we start with the ribbon stitch for about one inch and a half, more or less. Um, I have done one inch and one quarter. So then after that you start working uh, one row of uh, net stitches and one row of pearls and then once we have this is just very quickly about 10 inches we start decreasing now we do the decreases on every other row on the right side I'm going to show you how to do that of course in this video and so we start at this point and then we stop And we do another one and a half inches of ribbon just to finish the same way we started at the neck and so we're going to do two pieces like this and then we're going to work on the straps but for now let's begin by casting on the stitches that we need okay so i'm going to start with the smallest needle which was a nine and a half I'm sorry, and US number nine. Then I'm going to leave enough tail. Hope this is enough. And then we're just going to cast on. Okay. So once you have all your stitches, meet me back here to show you how to do the ribbon section. It's very, very, very simple. If you need a different size from the ones that I uh, have provided, all I did was I measured my bust and then I added one inch. Then to that measurement, I divided that in half. And then based on the gauge, I calculated the amount of stitches that I needed to cast on. All right, so let's begin. Right, so this is very simple. First, we're going to knit one, then we're going to purl one. And this is all we have to do for this row. We're going to knit one, purl one. Okay, so just continue doing this until you have reached the end of this row and for the following row once you're done with this one once you turn your work you have to check and you're going to like in this one you you have to net because you see here this is a net stitch and then this one is a pearl so net your nets and purl your pearls and then you just continue repeating these rows until you have reached 
one inch and a half for the ribbon section and then maybe back here to show you what we have to do next all right so once you're done with the ribbon section we're going to change our needles to the ten and a half and then I change only my left I'm sorry my right needle and I left the this one with the number nine because it's just easier instead of squeezing every uh, stitch on the bigger needle I'm just going to change uh, once I'm done with this first row oops and okay so now right now uh, we don't really have a wrong and a right side they all look the same so what we're going to do is I'm just going to start knitting all of these stitches all of them the pearls the net everything and so once I'm done with this row I'm going to do a pearl row Now I'm done with this first knitting row and just a reminder, change your needle. Second one, I forgot on the first piece that I did and I realized when things started looking kind of weird and so I didn't want you, I didn't want that happening to you. So 10 and a half and now we did a knit row and now we have to do a purl row so we're going to purl all of our stitches and now you're going to repeat these two rows until you have reached 10 inches uh, including the ribbon section so 10 inches in total and then once you're done with that, meet me back here to show you what we have to do next. So once you have reached your 10 inches, including the ribbon section, we are going to start decreasing on the right side. So here we're going to net one then we're going to skip one and two and then we're going to grab those two and we're going to knit them together and now we are going to knit the rest of well until we have three stitches left on the left needle and then we're going to repeat uh, the decrease but at the end we're going to knit two together we're not going to skip skip up slip slip and then knit two together that's only at the beginning of the row so from now on we are going to decrease one stitch at the beginning and decrease one stitch at the end on every other row meaning every time that we have to do uh, the right side we're going to decrease two stitches okay so beginning of the row you slip slip and then you knit those two together and I'm going to show you it's pretty simple what we have to do to decrease one stitch at the end see you once I get there okay now I have three stitches left so I'm going to get these two together and then we knit the last one and just like that you decrease one stitch at the end and now on the wrong side just purl across and then repeat the decreases so now I'll continue repeating these two rows and then we'll be back here to show you what we have to do next all right so now i have i ended up working nine inches from 
where I started my decreases from here to here to where I am right now I have 9 inches and I have 40 stitches left on my needle so what I'm going to do now we are going to switch to the uh, US number 9 needles again and we're going to work this rate of stitch again for one inch and a half so I change only one of them first same thing we did as when we started so to work the ribs the ribs the of uh, so to work the rib stitch we do net one pearl one net pearl and just repeat so once you have reached uh, one inch and a half we're going to cast off and then you will create a second piece just like this one and we'll be almost done so just as before remember to change your second needle once you're done with, with this first row Right now, once you're done with the ribbon here, the top, we are going to cast off. This is very simple and quick. You're going to knit two, one and two. And now you're going to pass the first one over the last one. And you knit another one first one over the last one and you need another one and that's it this is all you have to do you don't want to do this too tight so it can lose um, so it can look nice and because this will be your top so you don't want it to look ugly or too tight okay so now, once you're done, meet me back here. Once you have your two pieces ready, so we can put them together. Okay, so once you have your two pieces ready, we're gonna put them together, right side facing each other. So I already put these two sides together. I started this is the bottom I left the bottom ribbon open I didn't put them together so I started after the ribbon section I started sewing until I have reached 10 inches which is actually the point where I started decreasing and this is the top so from here to the point where you started decreasing that's the, the sides that I uh, sewed together and then this is how it looks on the right side I left this gap over here it's part of the design if you don't like it you can start sewing from the very uh, beginning but I liked it like that so now to show you how to do this once again put your two pieces right side facing each other You're just going to star sign. 
Now the way I do this, I just get go under this first stitch, first two, uh, like this V, it's the form of a V, and then go under the other two. Now just keep repeating that. I think this one's a little bit too short, but I'll make it work. Okay. So then you just continue doing this until you have reached your point of reference and then meet me back here to show you how we are going to do these straps right so for the final step you're going to get a very long piece of yarn when I put this one double it measures 44 inches so here this is the top part and I'm going to start this is my right side and I'm going to start here at the bottom of the rib stitch and with my number H five millimeter hook I'm going to start making single crochets. So I put through the first one. Now I'm going through the other space over here. And I make, it's more like, I'm sorry, it's a slip stitch. Then I go through the next one. Slip stitch. And I'm actually getting these first uh, stitches under uh, four, and then we're going to do one here on top. And now we're going to chain 20. We're going to make 20 chains. One, two, three, four, ten. I'm making them very tight. And 20. This will give you about a five inch long strap. And now we're going to get, we have to join this here. So I'm going to go at the very top and I'm going to make, actually I have to go through the front. So I'm going to turn my work And here at the top, I'm going to make a slip stitch. And I'm going to work on the side for slip stitches, just the same thing we did on the other side. So I'm gonna go into the first space. Two, three, and four and now this very last one we're just going to pull the yarn through and now we just wave this in here so it looks like part of the top And 
we are done now you just have to wave all of these loose ends and the top will be ready and this is how it should look at the end so you start in the back on the right side and then you end on the right side as well so everything looks so we have these V's facing out and not like this.